Well, hello everyone, and welcome to our webinar about an exciting new online program that we are offering here at Queen's University. The Graduate Diploma in Professional Inquiry, or as we call it, the GDPI. I'm Don Klinger, and I'm your presenter today. And over the next 10 minutes, I'm going to talk to you about this new credential we have designed for professionals who wish to engage more deeply in their learning, whatever their field. And during the presentation, I encourage you to ask questions via the chat room. At the end, one of our faculty members who helped design the program, Richard Reeve, will join me to answer your questions. And also at the same time, one of our graduate students, Chi Yan Lam, is on hand to, in case anyone's experiencing technical difficulties. His contact details are here on the slide. So this time I'd like to get started. So we define professional inquiry as the intentional examination of one's practices or programs in order to understand more about them, to solve problems or to affect change. It's all about working collaboratively and reflectively with action that is informed by analysis. And it's also about engaging in a creative and dynamic process that leads to sound practices informed by theory. The GDPI curriculum is designed to improve professional problem solving and decision making processes at the individual, the team, or the organizational level. You will foster connections with professional communities and your coursework will be designed so that you can focus on your current or future professional interests. Our program is online and part time. So you can do it anywhere as long as you have an internet access. You can complete five courses or take just one. But to receive the GDPI, you must take five courses. Now our program is designed so that you can pay by the course, so you actually have the opportunity to try it out first. So each course in the program provides approximately 36 hours of instructed supported learning. And for each of those hours, you can anticipate spending an additional two to three hours on reading, thinking, collaborating, or on the production of materials. Now the required courses will focus on the core principles of professional inquiry. And in these courses, you will design, enact, and optimize a personal professional learning plan and learn how to manage your learning through effective goal setting, resource allocation, self-assessment, and goal revision. You will also create collaborative learning communities and communities of practice. You will have the opportunity to learn how to conduct systematic program evaluation in support of data-informed decision-making. And you will explore the common practices and foundations of program evaluation and inquiry, and the ways that data can inform and, and information can inform uh, decision-making. Now the elective courses allow you to examine these principles in more detail and tailor the program to your per professional context. So for the diploma, you must choose two of them, but you can choose to do more. Now the organizational learning course focuses on organizations in public service sectors and considers topics such as organizational theory, structure, and bureaucracy, organizations and their environments, human resources, politics, decision-making, leadership, and organizational change. And the Innovation and Teaching and Learning course considers the roots of innovation as you learn to critique the relationships between learning goals and methods. And the Integrated Planning, Instruction, and Assessment course focuses on orchestrating effective teaching and learning. Now, I just want to give you an overview of the environment in which you will complete the GDPI. As you can see in the screen here, all the GDPI courses have a similar structure that consists of a series of modules, including short introductory and closure modules. Additional modules, each one, each one that's one or more weeks in length, focus on the content and use collaborative methods to help you make connections to build and strengthen your learning. Each module will use online materials from multiple sources, such as library, websites, blogs, and forums to support your learning. Now what's unique is that our user-friendly learning platform will provide you with essential programs and technologies that you need to complete the program. 
and our instructors will be available to support your use of our platform and technology. It's all there for you, what you need. But you are free to use other programs and technology to support your learning. But again, everything you really need is already built within the inquiry environment. Now, most importantly, you will have a choice and be able to tailor the materials and resources to your professional needs. And we'll guide you through our inquiry environment throughout. Now, in terms of assessment, each instructor will provide you with information about expectations and learning goals, assignments and grading at the beginning of the course. Throughout the course, you'll be provided with various ways to reflect on your progress and monitor your own learning. And you'll receive ongoing feedback from the instructor and your peers. And then at roughly the midpoint of each course, you will conduct a self-assessment that considers the five elements of inquiry represented on the professional inquiry rubric. And you will use that to construct a profile of the quality of your learning to date. The instructor, will provide you, the instructor will provide you with a personalized midpoint assessment of your progress intended to provide feedback to further guide your learning. And at the end of the course, again, using the same professional inquiry rubric and following the same pattern of interaction, a summative assessment will be completed by the instructor, of course, in consultation with you. Now combined, the rubric and a professional inquiry environment are designed to foster a personal environment that it allows you to foster pers your personal expression, contemplation, creativity, collaboration, and connection. And we see these as critical elements in effective professional inquiry. Now all the courses in the GDPR are really intended to allow you to focus on your professional inquiry needs. The classes are designed to ensure that you are participating in and contributing to a caring community, demonstrating an appreciation for the ethics and caring of your work and the work of others. So I've just given you a brief overview of, of the GDPI program, and this brings us to the close of our second webinar.